he's very approachable. A young child will go up and immediately you can throw your arm around him. It feels like it's a real goat. It feels like spiky and smooth. Albert Laisley's uh, students thought that he had actually used real live animals uh, <laughs> to create his sculptures. It looks like the soul of the animal is in the sculpture. What I mostly like about it is the idea of children being uh, so enamored with a sculpture and sitting on it and patting it and rubbing it. I think that's marvelous. My name is Nancy Heinzen. I am the author of a book called The Perfect Square, which is a history of Rittenhouse Square in Philadelphia. My name is Philip Price, Jr. Philip is the grandson of Eli Kirk Price II, who was responsible for finding Billy and installing him in Rittenhouse Square. And these are my grandchildren, Sarah and Hyunsu Price. This is what a goat sounds like. Meh! Who are great, great grandchildren of Eli Kirk Price. Meh, meh, meh. In 1914, Eli Kirk Price saw a little bronze sculpture at a showing of the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts, fell in love with it, and decided that it was going to be somewhere in Philadelphia. As a young man, I grew up uh, with an image of my grandfather as being a very persistent and uh, public-spirited person. He was one of the members of the Fairmount Park Art Association, which was a group of men who came together to purchase art for the newly organized Fairmount Park. So after he saw the sculpture, Eli Kirk Price decided that he was going to propose buying the small bronze goat and install it in Rittenhouse Square. And uh, as often happens when you have an idea, other people have a slightly different view. Uh, they thought it was too small and it was not uh, majestic enough. So they disapproved it. But being a man who was used to uh, having people say no, but staying with a project long enough to see it through, he stayed with it, and in 1918 purchased the sculpture and gave it to the Fairmount Park Commission. It was the Fairmount Park Art Association that installed uh, the pedestal and the circular bench that more or less carves out a sitting area. And of course, today it's the magnet for uh, all the little toddlers and their parents and uh, caretakers. And I commend my grandfather for being persistent in his desire to have this statute placed there. Because if he were alive today, he would take great pleasure in knowing that it is still appreciated by so many generations of children. Nah, nah, nah.